Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain Television. Israel Hanis, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, during the official talks conducted with the Thai Prime Minister, called on the Asian Dialogue Forum to take a strong stance against laws that target the sovereign immunity of state, which he said represent a source of worry and tension within the international community due to its negative impacts on the international cooperation efforts. Such laws, His Royal Highness added, will harm the existing relations between countries. He went on to say that some of these laws were wrongly legislated and came in the wrong time. The Thai Prime Minister, for his part, rejected any declaration on issues related to countries' internal affairs. The two sides called for preserving the harmony among the one community and avoid religious extremism that impact the national unity. The two sides also affirmed their keenness to push the bilateral relations as well as increasing political, economic and social cooperation between the two countries, including activating the joint agreements and joint economic committees. The Thai Prime Minister lauded the wisdom of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and his well-known role regionally and internationally, which has become a role model. This came during a visit by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the Thai government headquarters in Bangkok, as per the invitation of the Thai Prime Minister. During the visit, His Royal Highness was received by the Thai Prime Minister and senior Thai officials. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister signed the visitor's book in the Thai government headquarters, expressing pride in the high-level relations of witness between the two countries and the keen desire to elevate them in the various fields. Then the two sides held official talks. The Bahraini side was shared by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the Thai side by the Thai Premier. At the outset of the talks, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the King, the government and the people of Thailand and His Majesty's best wishes for Thailand for further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister extended an invitation for the Thai Premier to visit Bahrain, which he accepted with the talks and thanks. During the talks, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister lauded the security and stability enjoyed by Thailand under its government's efforts. The two sides also voiced satisfaction with the development in Bahrain-Thai relations and the rise in bilateral cooperation, including economic and investment fields. The two sides called for the need to activate agreements and joint committees action for the purpose of further trade, cooperation and investment. The Thai side voiced aspiration for Bahrain to be a hub for the distribution of Thai products to the GCC countries, which will push further the Gulf, ASEAN, uh, the Gulf Asian cooperation in general and the Gulf-Thai relations in particular. The two sides also reviewed the tourism cooperation between the two countries, especially health tourism, due to the number of Bahraini tourists traveling to Thailand for medical treatment. The two sides also tackled the issue of education and cultural cooperation between Bahrain and Thailand, where the Thai Premier expressed recognition for His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for offering scholarships to Thai Muslim students. The two sides affirmed on such cooperation and its role in enhancing cultural knowledge. The two sides also agreed to increase cooperation in the transportation field. Then the two sides reviewed the political and economic situation development regionally and internationally, and the two sides affirmed the importance of working towards enhancing cooperation between the GCC and ASEAN. Views were similar with regard to the situation in the world, including combating terrorism, and the two sides agreed to continue cooperation with the friendly countries and increase coordination during world events and before international organization. Views were also close or similar on rejecting laws and legislation that target country sovereignty and impacting countries' immunities. The two sides affirmed that the talks between the two were constructive, which reflects the strong relations linking Bahrain and Thailand. The Thai Premier held a luncheon in honor of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, which was attended by the accompanying delegation and senior Thai officials. An art exhibition featuring a collaboration of works from three young Bahraini creatives with a theme inspired by the upcoming 25th Bahrain International Music Festival debuted yesterday at the Bahrain Arts Center. Daniel Deporto was there and brings us this report. Parallelism is a highly conceptual multimedia art exhibition about the things that do not meet. It is showing at Bahrain's Art Center for the duration of this month, coinciding with the 25th Bahrain International Music Festival. A trio of young Bahraini creatives, an artist, an architect and a musician, have produced a hall of provocative art installations exploring what does not meet, what will not meet and what should not meet. 
We're exposed to um, amazing art installations. The three artists tonight um, express their line of thought, their artistic uh, dialogue, not on the classical uh, ways that we're used to, not on paper or canvas. We're surrounded by fantastic, um, thoughtful art installations. This exhibition coincides with the opening of the music festival, which is going to be on the 13th of October. The exhibition speaks about society, speaks about sound, speaks about parallelism, and um, this exhibition can be in Bahrain, in New York, in London. I think it's, it crosses all boundaries. And it's fantastic to see this um, line of work happening here at the Art Center. In music, the strings of instruments run in parallel lines which never meet, but are played together to form the melodies and harmonies of song. The three young artists who collaborated to create the Parallelism exhibition have explored the concept from an assortment of more abstract viewpoints, considering beliefs, perspectives, society and potential. The idea of parallelism and how things uh, or two objects don't meet, uh, I was trying to look at it from a different direction, how there is actually this illusion of a meeting point where, depending on your perspective, two parallel lines could look like they have this vanishing point. And I tried to, try to test that on people's lives and um, how we, people lead lives that are completely different depending on their social backgrounds and uh, education, all those things. And uh, by my work, I just tried to take, um, well, what, uh, just to show how we share the same needs and we share the same life cycle and everything. I just took one part of it. Uh, but we are, we, yet we are completely different and we don't really know, we don't really understand each other's lives. And so we're parallel also as people. The highly conceptual art installations on display at Parallelism provoke the viewer to consider aspects of daily life from a fresh philosophical perspective. And that to many is the very definition of high art. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto.